Hey guys, this is a tutorial for how to use um, Image Lines native plugin, SAR. Um, I personally think that this is a really good plugin for making crazy bass lines like <laughs> stuff like that. And uh, if you want a really quick heads up tutorial on how to work around this great instrument, then definitely stick along. So, the program by default uses one oscillator that is a saw it's kind of the primary character of the sound of the of the instrument you can't add a second oscillator which is a sub saw um, the phasing right here and the detuning control how much it stands out um, you can of course spread it around the frequency anywhere you want it can be a square if you want and inverting sometimes help it stand out a little more. Um, the retrigging resets the phasing every time you strike the note. And there will already have a nice sound. <laughs> so the noise level and the sync freak are the two more additional knobs that kind of control uh, the, the noise making parameters, I suppose. The noise level straightforward it just adds noise to the sound sync freak it uh, uh, amplifies certain harmonics um, can be very useful if you're trying to make the sound more interesting the filtering is the next thing that uh, I usually do when I make the sound it's pretty straightforward you have four different types of filtering that SAR offers the LP12 and the LP24 are the most common. That's pretty much what they do. The resonance knob adds a little more higher harmonics to the sound when the filter is being applied. And um, KBD track, velocity track, um, whatever. I don't even know what they do. <laughs> so, filter can have an envelope. This is how you turn it on with amplitude. Uh, the amplitude knob kind of controls how the filter kicks in. And they, there are several things you can actually control with the filter. The cutoff is uh, what the filter controls by default. You can have the sync freak parameter, this thing right here, um, be controlled by the filter, which is the same. Uh, the subphasing and the master frequency um, kind of it depends it a little bit I guess so yeah definitely play around with this this is a great way to uh, make your sound more interesting um, and more evolving is using filters lastly the LFO is a low frequency oscillator that uh, helps you to do things like that um, you kind of wobbles your knob is back and forth for you, I suppose. Uh, this is how you turn it on. By default, again, it's set to the cutoff parameter. You can do this thing with um, all these names right here. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, and that's pretty much what it does. Makes the wobbly sound. The attack and release control how it behaves. And then again, retrig uh, resets the LFO every time you strike a key. And temp sync is the tempo sync. It syncs it with the tempo of the song if you want to do that. Um, so these three sections are, I guess, they're, they're the primary uh, three sections used to make a sound after you do, you know, you figure out what you want. I usually go to the level and the panning and figure out, you know, where I want the sound and how loud I want it the envelope controls the overall character of it like how much attack and release there is transposing the fine tuning um, again it's a pitch section that controls where you want the, the sound to be uh, gliding is for playing on the keyboard it just uh, kind of makes the notes glide instead of just uh, played normally I, I guess and 
lastly the voicing a very important section it uh, tells the plugin how many voices to use to play your sound the more voices you use the, the, the fatter I, uh, your, your plugin your sound is gonna sound but it, keep in mind that it does uh, cost power like it, the plugin uses more resources the more voices you use uh, the panning spreads the sound across the stereo field and the unison detune detunes the voices individually to make them um, have that chorusy effect I guess and uh, well there you have it in five minutes <laughs> that's pretty much the gist of the whole thing um, at the bottom here you have a couple of effects to play around with and you have MIDI modulation matrix I, um, I don't think I'm going to explain that unfortunately it's um, something I'd explore on your own it's a it's a modulation that uses your key keyboard to uh, help you uh, make your sound more interesting so if you do have a MIDI keyboard then I really encourage you to play around with that but it doesn't have a straight effect on the sound as is <coughs> excuse me the arpeggiator section right here helps you to uh, create live patterns with your sound without actually entering any um, data or creating any patterns uh, can be a really cool thing to do I guess and lastly like I said the, the effects here um, there's pretty basic delay reverb and phasing with the chorus the chorus makes it um, it kind of tricks your ear into thinking that multiple of these SARS are playing at the same time uh, play around with that the phasing similar to this knob right here it controls the the overall it, it shifts up some of the frequencies a little bit kind of makes it sound a little funky I guess and the delay and the reverb are pretty straightforward so uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new and uh, hopefully I'll make some more in the near future